in this situation, a lot of people will do AC joint like this. Like you can see the AC joint really clearly right here. You can see that she's actually got an AC separation. It's widened this area. You can see the area, the clavicle is there on the left and uh, the chromium is on the right. And what's interesting, of course, you can easily just do a center line and come straight in like this. However, I found what the best way to do this is actually to do it in plane. So I'm gonna turn my probe 90 degrees and you can actually follow this kind of to find the clavicle there on the left and there's the joint there and actually you follow it to the acromion and there's the acromion. But if you just come right to the middle, it's so easy now, just go ahead and place our injection and find it coming in directly. Let's see, there's my needle. And actually that's the joint right there. So there you go, right in the joint. And that's the disc actually, that is the AC joint. And so all I have to do is do an injection right there and you've done your AC injection, but you do it on direct vision. Because the problem is if you do it blindly, you can go too far and go posterior and miss it, or you can not go far enough and go anterior and miss it. So this way it allows you to get directly into the middle and you can see that we're right in the middle right now. So again, this is too proximal, that's too distal, and that's right in the joint. So you can see it directly. So it isn't, I think, good enough in this situation because the AC joint is so small to do it out of plane, like the glenohumeral joint, which is so large. I think in this situation, it's best to do in plane like this.